Hello guys, welcome to the first session of uh, electrochemistry. In this session, we will be talking about uh, Daniel cell and we will see how if we apply an external voltage, what will happen to Daniel cell. Let's start the session. Now, first of all, what is a Daniel cell? So, Daniel cell is basically this uh, figure here you can see. Okay, so it consists of uh, zinc, it consists of a copper rod, both are connected, both are dipped inside a solution which is containing salt of zinc on one side with the zinc electrode, and the other side is with the solution of containing salt of copper. Okay. So, Daniel cell is the one which actually converts the electric, uh, sorry, chemical energy which is liberated during redox reaction. So there is a redox reaction that is reduction and oxidation simultaneously to electrical energy. Okay. And here it is having a electrical potential equals to 1.1 volt. What is happening here that zinc is uh, con getting converted into Zn2 plus whereas copper is uh, copper aqueous is getting converted into copper solid. So such a device is also called as galvanic or a voltaic cell. If I talk about electrolytic cell is a device that is using electrical energy to carry on non spontaneous chemical reaction so that Daniel cell is converting chemical energy into electrical energy whereas electrolytic cell is a device which is using electrical energy to carry out non spontaneous chemical reactions. Okay, Now to focus here what is happening that uh, zinc is actually getting converted into Zn2 plus okay and it is actually losing electrons okay because you can see zinc gives you Zn2 plus plus 2 electron so electrons are kind of going towards copper if electrons are going towards copper that means the current is flowing from copper towards zinc okay and uh, since they are actually in separate container we have connected them via salt bridge. Now, uh, what is happening in this scenario also, you can see that zinc here which is negatively charged is the anode, copper is the cathode part, so always here the current is going in this direction, you can see and electron flow is from zinc to copper, okay. Here this is an external potential which is uh, used, okay, so you can see that this external potential if it is less than 1.1 volt. The current is going from copper to zinc. Okay, so electron flows from zinc to copper rod, and hence the current is from copper to zinc. What is happening? Zinc is getting dissolved at anode, and copper gets deposited at cathode. So cathode part will get thicker and thicker, whereas zinc will get thinner and thinner because zinc is kind of going in aqueous solution, losing its electrons. Okay, hence the electrons are going in this direction. Now, what if the external voltage is 1.1 volt? So, when external voltage is 1.1 volt, that simply means that there is no potential difference between copper and zinc. When there is no potential difference, means there is no flow of electron. No flow of electron means that current is zero. So, when the external potential is equal to the cell potential, then there is no flow of electrons or current and no chemical reaction is taking place in this scenario. Okay. Now, what if the external potential is actually increased uh, further, uh, like increased or is above 1.1 volt? Now, in this case, if it is increased more, what is happening? The direction of current is changing. Okay, You can see in this scenario, when the external potential is greater than 1.1 volt, so you see the current flow is towards the right hand side that is from zinc side to copper okay so the electrons flows from copper to zinc and the current flows from zinc to copper here zinc is deposited at the zinc electrode and copper is getting dissolved at copper electrode so this is something reverse is happening basically since this was a non spontaneous reaction external potential is higher so this is the main driving force which is reversing the reaction. So hence zinc is getting deposited at zinc electrode and copper is getting dissolved at copper electrode. Okay. And uh, that's it for the first session. See you all in the next session guys. Bye bye.